Hello everyone and welcome to the image annotation session. In this presentation, I will talk about image annotation and different strategies to speeding up the process. My name is Salma Sami. I'm postdoctoral researcher at University of Ganger, working on plant phenotyping application. In this presentation, I will discuss about uh, motivation and why annotated data is required. We continue by defining image annotation and we introduce different strategies and platforms to speeding up the process. On the previous lectures, you got familiar with machine learning and deep learning and you realize that machine learning is an effective and efficient strategy to handle the complexity and diversity of different types of questions, specifically plant, uh, plant phenotyping applications. Among all methods of machine learning, we are interested in supervised machine learning, which requires large amounts of annotated data, especially in the case of deep learning for training the model. But what is image annotation? Image annotation is the process of labeling the image with certain outlines and keywords. We can also define the annotation as a process of generating high-level metadata. Humans are very good at abstraction by using natural language. For example, here you can see an image and you can easily distinguish different objects available on this image. For example, apples, leaves, and etc. But this is the way that computer can see this image. So there is a semantic gap between high level and low level description of an image. And by annotation, we generate a high level metadata for computers to perceive the image. Based on different tasks, for example, classification or segmentation, the annotation can be done on different levels. For example, you can see two samples of image, uh, annotation based on image level, or it can be done on objective level, object, sorry, object level, or it can be done on pixel level. Annotation is done by different tools that you can see some uh, some of them uh, in this picture and these tools are available on online or offline platforms usually image annotation is done manually by defining regions in an image and creating a description of those regions however providing this annotated data manually is tedious labor intensive time consuming and very expensive task. Based on machine learning ta task, it needs concentration to ensure the quality and accuracy of annotated data. Due to all these challenges, people are thinking how to speed up this process. We can define different strategies, which in this presentation, I will follow them one by one. The first one, is using available platforms that are used machine learning in backend to speeding up image annotation. For example, Semantiki is an annotation tool relying on interactive graph-based segmentation. It is a semi-automatic application for segment leaves in images of plants. First, Annotator provides barriers by dots, lines, or here by this cross sign. An algorithm, by using random word formulation, find a good pair leaf segmentation. This work is published in 2016, and you can have access to the application freely through this link. Next example of available platform that are used machine learning in back end could be Elastic. We can define different steps for annotating an image with this application. And in the next presentation, my colleague uh, will uh, 
describe this application in more detail and you will discover how to use this application for segmentation and also uh, uh, annotation. The second method for speeding up image annotation is active learning. In this strategy, human is in the loop of the model. We have a bunch of unlabeled data. The algorithm inspects the unlabeled data and then it requests which data should be annotated. Then the experts annotate those data and send them back to the machine. The other strategy could be accelerating the process of annotation by team of experts. For example, CitoMine is a collaborative tool for annotation and analysis of multi-gigapixel images. In this video, we, you can see that we use this application for annotation healthy and unhealthy wheat grain. The next approach is annotation by crowd and by, uh, by defining micro tasks for online workers. There are some available online crowdsourcing platform which allows to do annotation by crowd and split the annotation process to micro tasks. Here, we are mentioned some of these available platforms. They, usually, they usually pay very small amount of money per task to annotators, and there are different strategies to assess the quality of annotation. The next approach is using uh, uh, doing annotation by code by using games for online players. Here, you can see an example of the online uh, game, which is called Pickaboo, that can be, uh, that the annotation task can be done behind the, uh, playing this uh, game. The other strategy could be using synthetic data, which grand truth is already generated automatically. Here, you can see a, uh, a sample of a CSIRO data set. As you can see here, with uh, this synthetic data, the associate uh, grand truth is also available. This is the synthetic RGB images of Arabidopsis plants. The last strategy that we are talking about in this presentation is vision-based image annotation. Based on different literatures, which one of them is cited here, the vision is the fastest human sense based on the reaction time to visual stimulus, especially when the goal is to discriminate the outliers. But how we can capture computer vision and use the information for doing the annotation task? By using eye tracking devices. Here we can see two versions of this device, uh, screen-based and glasses-based eye tracking. Eye tracking record both field of view and gaze direction simultaneously, and it measure visual information such as fixation, gaze points, and so on. And here you can see some uh, samples of output provided by eye tracking devices such as heat maps or bounding boxes. I bring one of uh, one example of using this technology for annotating images in ag agriculture application. By using screen-based eye tracking, uh, we annotate weeds located between the plants. For this purpose, there are different steps. First, we need to define uh, the task. And second, we ask the annotator to gaze on the weeds for a specific amount of the time. And uh, on the last uh, step, as you can see here, uh, by analyzing the result that you can uh, see uh, is provided such as uh, these heat maps. This could be used as a source of annotation for the task, these heat maps. By this approach, we accelerate the process of annotation 
in this uh, example, 30 times more than manual annotation. And our group in Hofer for the fir uh, first time used this technology for doing annotation in agriculture domain. However, there is one limitation uh, of, by using uh, this uh, strategy, and it is the acquisition and annotation are two different uh, steps. We were thinking that how we can join uh, join these two different uh, steps together and uh, speeding up the process of acquisition and annotation. And the solution could be using these kind of uh, glasses eye tracking devices. Here you can see uh, a sample of uh, image acquisition and annotation by using uh, this uh, egocentric uh, eye tracking device. We ask our annotator uh, to uh, gazing on the uh, uh, object of interest. Here is uh, defined as a as an apple, and after that we do some kind of image uh, uh, processing to segment each apples on the image. This uh, work is published on Sensor Article, and you can have uh, access to this article through this link. As a conclusion of this uh, presentation, I can say that we talk about image annotation and why it's important and we discuss about different strategies very briefly to uh, speeding up the uh, image annotation process. In the next presentation, my colleague uh, talk about how to use Elastic for image annotation in depth. Thank you so much for your attention.